know when I've eaten a smallmouth bass, but uh, they're they're frisky. I gotta say, the biggest one I ever caught up there in Lake of the Woods was six pounds, and I caught two back to back, six and five, six and five twelve. I think he weighed six two. I think two of them weighed twelve pounds. But anyway, most of them run from pound and a half up to about three and a half. I use that. Uh, I use quarter ounce jig head uh, with a reaper tail on it. There you can see that reaper. Lake Ontario. Ah, uh, no, no, Lake Erie. Lake Ontario may have them too, but Lake Erie has some great smallmouth bass fishing. But the uh, the uh, boundary waters, canoe country. You see here, we're we're in a canoe. You use light stuff. We have an ultra light rod. We designed for it, two piece rod. Four pound test line, of course some people want to use six, that's all right. You can see the ominous looking clouds in the background and it, it was chilly that day. But remember about uh, this country up there, if you can get up there in the first two weeks, last week of May, first two or three weeks of June, uh, you're, be you're better off for the smallmouth. But you can catch them anytime, as far as that part's concerned. Good fishermen can. Smallmouth bass fishing and southern Ontario all, all across. In fact, I'm fishing Lake Michigan up at uh, what is Beaver Island for smallmouth bass. Pretty fish. No big ones. We're going to take a time out now. But you stay with us because we'll be right back. We're back, and I want to thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed our smallmouth bass fishing. It was not the best time of the year to uh, do the smallmouth bass fishing, but sometimes you have to do it when you can. People say, oh, you only go to a place when it's the best. You only go to the best places. Well, I, I like to go to the best places too, and I like to go at the best time, but you can't always regulate that, and I certainly want to thank uh, Dan, uh, Carol, and Perry for um, their splendid hospitality and the wonderful opportunity to be there. And of course, my son-in-law, Jim Trotter, and David, my grandson, and Jim Higgins, who went with us and, and helped it. Because I, I really had a problem last year after I broke my leg, you know, I'd hobble around like, uh, just, just right.